I'm now joined by the head coach of Jefferson Football, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team with a 48-28 to win in round one of the playoffs against Cabell Midland last week. What were your thoughts about that game? Uh, I thought the kids um, fought and played hard. You know, there was touch and go early in the game. You know, we were going back and forth battling. Uh, kids had to go through some adversity. You know, we went in at halftime, made some adjustments, was able to um, throw them down offensively and um, keep going, keep going with our offense and take the lead. And just once we got the lead at the, in the fourth quarter, we didn't really look back. So, but the kids played well and played hard. You mentioned those halftime adjustments. What were some of them that worked well? Uh, you know, just the fact that they were um, giving us some unbalanced line looks, oversets. Um, we had to make sure we had everything covered up properly. Uh, the kids were playing proper assignments and proper technique at halftime. We re- reiterate that and get back on track with that to make sure they understood what their assignments were. Who were some people that really stood out in the game that were difference makers? Um, defensively, um I would say early in the game, Jalen Allen, Jonas, Jonas Weiser did a good job. Hakeem Drake, you know, I thought Noah Bajan did a good job inside handling double teams for us. Kip, Kip Waldeck or Kirk Waldeck did a great job. So those guys defensively did a great job. And, you know, I thought Dylan did a great job of, of running the offense and Tayshawn did a great job of, of just running the ball, period, and doing whatever we needed him to do. This week you guys will take on Hurricane. Uh, what have you seen from them so far? Oh, uh, you know, just – Pretty much, you know, um, they're a team that pretty much, I guess, matches matches with us speed wise. I mean, they got a lot of speed. Um, the quarterback is an excellent player. He's a he's a heck of a football player. Offensively, they're 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 an offensive juggernaut. Uh, defensively, they're, they they they've been able to get stops when they need them. Uh, they play hard on defense. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game. Three versus six is always a tough game. It's gonna be a tough game. Um, we we'll want to stop number seven, the quarterback, keep him in the pocket. Keep them corralled. They can throw the ball in tight windows as best we can. You know, get, just get pressure on. What are some things that you're able to replicate in practice to uh, put pressure on a quarterback with his capabilities? Oh, uh, you know, we have we have some we have some guys that have the same skill set that we can help. We can pretty much um, you know simulate what they do offensively. So you know, we have some we have our skill set guys are, are pretty decent that we go depth. We have enough depth that we can actually kind of stimulate what they do you know we have sometimes Dylan doesn't Dylan doesn't necessarily play defensive sometimes so we can put him back at quarterback to simulate him moving around in the pocket or him running the ball you know some things that we can do and to simulate what they're going to do to us uh, that's always the key you know it's hard to, it's hard to, um, it's hard to simulate uh, Cabo Midland's offense as much as what they did because they ran a lot of motion a lot of deep motion a lot of things of that nature uh, the timing was hard to simulate Sometimes, like when you do things with a single wing offense, like you can't simulate how well they actually run the offense. But I think we can we can do a good job of actually simulating what they do and, and give us a good look this week in practice. And then on your side of things, what are you hoping to execute to uh, get the win? Uh, you know, just you know, establish a running game. Hopefully, we can establish a running game. Get some play action. Uh, you know, get the ball to our you know get the ball to our guys in space. Um, you know, that's, that's a key thing for us is, you know, getting the ball to your athletes in space and letting them do what they do best. So using Tayshawn and, and uh, Tony Allen, Rockwell, and uh, Wallace. You know, we didn't have Wallace last week. He, could, he didn't play last week. So having him back and having Benner back is a big thing for us this week. So uh, those, two couldn't, those two didn't play last week. So You mentioned Wallace being healthy, and I know uh, it seems like for a lot of people, Roper's definitely healthy now as well. How, how much of a boost has it been to have your guys uh, healthy um, at this point in the season? All you know, it's, it's, it's good to have them. At this point in the season, it's really good to have all your kids healthy uh, as best you can, you know, because you, if you want to make, make this run in the playoffs, you know, you really need all your kids healthy, ready to go. You need to be, uh, I would say, you need to have your game plans tight and together. Uh, so you can bring it to the kids so they understand what's going on. All right, Coach Hunter, anything else? Uh, that's it. All right, thank you for the time. Best of All luck right. Saturday. No fun, no fun question today? I, I was thinking of one. Uh, haven't really, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, right. I asked Coach Walker, favorite playoff memory. So I, I guess I'll ask you that as well. Oh, um, it's a tough one. Uh, I would say favorite favorite playoff memory would be I hate to do this to him because he's my he's a good friend of mine. Um, I guess it would be the year we were five and five and I don't think anybody really gave us a shot to beat Musselman. We beat Musselman in the first round of the playoffs. 
32 to nothing at their place. All right. That's a good one for your side, yeah. I can yeah, see where yeah, it's not I, I so I, much for Musselman. I, I said I hate to do it to him because he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> so, maybe you won't hear it. You never know. Oh, he'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Coach.